The second problem that we are going to solve is problem 35 of chapter 16. If the shaft and plate rotate with a constant angular velocity of omega 14 radian per second, so constant angular velocity, that's a key word for us. If omega is 14 radian per second, and if it is constant, which means that alpha is zero, determine the velocity and acceleration of point C located on the corner of the plate at the instant shown. So we want to find the velocity of point C, VC, and AC, the acceleration of point C is required. Because the problem is given in 3D, we need to use the vector formulation to find the velocity and acceleration. What is the equation for velocity? It's omega cross r. So that's the vector formulation to find velocity. And the, in cross product, the order is important. So omega cross r is not the same as r cross omega. But we have the magnitude of omega but we need omega in a vector form. And we know omega is rotating along OA axis. So the axis of rotation would be OA. If we have the magnitude, we can find the vector form if you multiply the magnitude by the unit vector. And R is R from O to C from the axis of rotation to C. But our first task is to find omega. So omega in a vector form would be the magnitude 14 UOA. I hope you remember from statics that the unit vector would be the position vector divided by its magnitude. So UOA would be ROA divided by the magnitude of ROA. We can find omega 14 ROA <coughs> negative 0.3i. We are moving 0.2j in the direction of positive y. And from O to A, we are moving 0.6k to the positive of z. And if you find a magnitude, it would be 0.7. So I can write omega oh, let me write it here, omega to be negative six i plus four j plus twelve. Okay, so I found omega in a vector form. And if I go back to my equation, velocity is omega cross R O C. Now I have omega, I need to find R O C, which would be the position vector from O to C. The position vector R O C would be negative 0.3 because I'm moving from O to C in a negative X direction. So that would be our OC as the I component. And positive 0.4J, and that's R. So now that I have omega and ROC, I can find my velocity. Is omega cross r. I use cross product equation i, j, k. The second row would be the first vector. First vector would be omega, or so omega would be negative 6, 4, and 12. The second or the third row would be the second vector, which is r, o, c, which I found to be negative 0 0.3, 0 0.4, and zero. So if I find velocity here, that would be negative 4.8i, negative 3.6j, 
and negative 1.2 okay and the unit for velocity is meter per second so i found the first unknown the problem was asking for which was velocity now i want to find the acceleration the acceleration let me the acceleration has two components alpha cross r plus omega cross velocity so alpha is zero there is no angular acceleration because omega is constant and r is r o c and v uh, or OC, but it really doesn't matter because it's multiplied by a zero value. Now we have one component. So the tangential component is zero, and we only have the a normal component. We know omega in a vector form, we found velocity, so we can easily find acceleration. A would be the definition of a cross product. So let me write it here, I, K, K. The second row would be our omega, which we found it to be negative 6, 4, 12. And the third row would be our velocity, which we just found negative 4.8, negative 3.6, and negative 1.2. Therefore, our acceleration would be 38.4i, negative 64.8j, and 40 plus 40.8k. And the unit for acceleration would be meter per second squared. So in this problem we just substitute the value and then perform the cross product for acceleration we know it has two component and in vector formulation is alpha cross r plus omega cross v we didn't have any alpha so we got rid of the first component and we found the second component the main uh, part of the problem is to find omega and r's in terms of a vector then we can perform cross product if we have the magnitude and the angle we can find the cartesian uh, component but if we don't have the angles but the dimension we have to form the unit vector omega is in direction of oa so you can find omega we can find a unit vector of oa and to find unit vector of oa we found the position vector divided by its magnitude and once we have everything in a vector form then it's a simple cross product